Hello! In this video, you will learn how to add a full element length, bean, and double it above openings. Let's start by checking the frame that we would like to modify on 3D. If you suspend the groups on ArchiCAD, you are able to select only one piece. Let's select this one to use in our example. By opening Set Element Options, we will have some choices to make modifications related to the plank what we just selected. For this video, however, we will need only the top box settings. If you want to make more modifications, it is recommended to uncheck the box Apply Automatically before make any changes. So, we can check that our watching direction is from inside to outside, which means that if you want the beam in the interior side, we should select top bulk front. Let's try. With our plank selected, open the settings for top bulk front and start by setting the material to 42 by 173 mm. The thickness and height will be set automatically according with the material you choose here. The bulk distance from the top, in this case, will be 84 mm because there are two top elements with the thickness of 42 mm. Let's add two planks. Now, check the option on and click on apply. You will see the double beams on top of the frame and the grooves. Let's check what kind of machine we have here. Open the Extended Plank Tools palette by pressing Ctrl while click on the Plank Tools icon. With the stud selected, we can see in the machine list that there is a single groove. If we select the front beam, we can see there are no linked machines with this piece. When we select the one behind, we can see that all the grooves are made from that piece. Arc frame makes just single groove to the studs as it is correct for CNC production. Now, our next step is to cut the second beam for the openings. Select the second beam on 3D. Here you can use ArcCAD way to select pieces having control points at the same location. Keep mouse still in the common location and press Tab key from the keyboard. When the desired piece is highlighted, press the mouse button to select it. After select the beam you want, go to Select Tool and click on Element Drawing. In this case, it's recommended to work in the elevations, despite you can work on 3D too. Keep the selection and drag the start of the beam to the stud next to the window. Now let's cut the piece. To do that, open Cut and Join Tools. Select the joint type. Any of the options will work fine in this case. But let's select the second one. Select the draw line for the cut type and zero gap. Click on cut. Cut the selected piece using help from active line at the side of the stud. Then drag the begin of the cut piece to next opening and repeat the process of cut as shown it before. When you finish, just update and check the result on 3D. You will see that some of the studs are not with grooves on the beam in the front. To create these grooves, go to the Extended Tool palette and add manually. Select all the pieces by pressing Ctrl A. Let's remove from the selection the beams and top and bottom plates using Shift. If you prefer, Remove also the studs which are connected with the openings and the second beams. But keep in mind that arc frame processes only the intersecting parts, so it is okay to leave selected all the studs. Click on Get Operators. Check the sizes. In this case, we don't have to make changes. Keep the machine in related planks, check it. Click on Do New. Now we have a really nice result. 
This is currently the recommended way to add double beans above openings. Thank you.